Hello, everyone. It's great to be here. I'm Ibrahim Kurt. I am the CEO and the co-founder of Elm Genomics. And today, I'll be talking about our new, really exciting product called Genopics Comprehensive Newborn DNA Screening Test. By the way, I think they forget to give me the slide changing thing. Um, or should I say, next slide. Um, uh, I think the slide, no, I don't have it. OK, perfect. So who are we? Elm Genomics is a healthcare analytics startup producing DNA analysis software for screening and early diagnostics. And we have been recently accelerated by healthcare lab that is powered by Roche. Thank you very much. Awesome. Um, that is powered by Roche, EIT Health, and European Union, Union. And of course, this is the future of the healthcare. And hopefully, you will enjoy our, our product. Uh, so who are we? I completed my PhD study, studies recently at Harvard University in the field of molecular biology and genetics. Murat is an expert in biostatistics and bioinformatics, and these are the core pillars of our product. And Harun is an expert, academic expert, in the field of human biology and biochemical pathways of diseases. And Serkan is an investment operations expert in biotechnology. So what is the problem we are tackling, addressing, and trying to solve? Right now, around the globe, there are more than 300 million people worldwide suffering from rare genetic diseases. And unfortunately, 50% of them are children. And again, unfortunately, 30% of these children will not survive uh, until their fifth birthday. So this is a huge number if you do the math. And we, as Elm Genomics, do not accept this number. We think it's unacceptable in today's 2022 technology we have. And what's the main culprit? What's the main problem? The main problem is with the standard newborn screening when you have babies around, around the world in hospitals today. It is not, it's, it's called blood heel prick test. And it's not only invasive and painful, but it's also incomprehensive that's built upon almost 70 years old technology. Although the exact number of the number of diseases that are being screened varies from in, in between countries, it can be as low as five and six in Turkey, in Finland, in most of the European countries, actually. This insufficient screening leads to many problems, but the number one problem is it can lead to permanent, irreversible physical and mental damages and or even premature child death. Compounding the problem, making it worse, we as adults are unaware of our genetic backgrounds. There is a huge genetic unawareness in the society. And statistically speaking, trust me, every one of us are carrying some genetic conditions right now. We are just not aware of it. There is this ghost in the background in the society looming around. That combined leaves families and the health system under pressure, both financially and psychologically. So to illustrate the promise of our product, I will show you two cases. Um, that are not currently screened with the conventional methods, but that are screened by our methods. And they are both medically actionable. The first one is called Segawa syndrome. And you're seeing it became big news in Turkey recently. You are seeing from news channels some screenshots. On the left, you see two twins walking in the aisle, and the title says Twin Miracle. So these boys, up until they are seven years of old, for the first seven years of their lives, they, were, they lived bound to bed, semi-paralyzed. They couldn't hold their heads and neck upright. They couldn't properly eat, speak, talk. And they constantly had epileptic seizures. Um, of course, after painful and long diagnostic odyssey, knocking on many doors across many hospitals, they ran into Dr. Adnal Yüksel, who happened to have some genetics training background. And he figured out and diagnosed that they have Segawa syndrome. All he did, all he did was prescribing super accessible and simple drug called L-dopamine. And then they started walking, talking, and speaking, and saying mom and dad first time after seven years. The second case, starts with a common infection that can happen to every one of us. And of course, can happen to babies as well. And they might spend a few days in NICU at the clinic. And of course, doctors usually just prescribe common antibiotics. And one of the common antibiotics is aminoglycoside family. It's very common, gentamicin, you might know it. And of, unfortunately, a certain fraction of the society, they, we, we, we can carry a mutation in one of our mitochondrial genes. And if you are administered this type of family of antibiotic, it leads to antibiotic-induced hearing loss. And that's permanent. And we also screen for this pharmacogenomic mutation. So what's the solution? 
the solution essentially we're offering is a single test that checks for 180 genetic diseases in a single test that's built upon sensitive and accurate next generation sequencing technology. It's gentle, non-invasive, and we are only checking for medically actionable genes and diseases. It's super simple, just a mouth cheek swap that you can apply to any babies, even five minutes old. Actually, our algorithm as a, as a type of validation has already successfully identified more than one baby with conditions. The first one is a baby, 23 days old male baby from China. We already knew he was positive for this deadly condition called methyl malonic acidemia. So it was a true positive for us to test. And when we pushed him through our algorithm, our pipeline product, we, we successfully labeled him as positive. Then in the middle, actually, you see my daughter. Back then, I was in Boston doing my PhD, and she was one year old. And uh, proving the point that we are all carriers of some diseases, but we're just not aware of it, it turned out she's also a carrier of cystic fibrosis. And a dear friend, uh, his, his son, one month old, turned out to be our genemia carrier. By the way, I want to clear out something in the remaining time. Genetic carriership shouldn't be th thought and deemed as a viral, viral infection carriership. These genetic carriership do not exhibit or demonstrate itself in the individuals. They are totally healthy until the end of their lives. Only when they marry or their spouses are also carriers for the same conditions, then only then, statistically, their children can exhibit these conditions. Um, so please join us in our efforts to increase the health and wellness of society by screening for actionable diseases. Thanks a lot for your attention and for joining me.